Hey everybody, Brock Freddy here, helping you enjoy your ride. I'm in a 2016 Lexus RX350, the brand new um, SUV, and it has been completely redesigned. And the one that I'm in right now does not have the optional navigational system. And I wanted to show you what it does have. It has a multi-touch controller, and the multi-touch controller will allow you to control things that are in the car and you're seeing that right now. Climate, phone, media, radio, display, setup, info, okay? What I recommend to everyone who purchases one of these is to go to setup first. I'm gonna press down on the controller and you'll see the screen that is before you. General voice, Bluetooth, audio, vehicle, and phone. I recommend starting at the top going to general, pressing down, and you can see the things that you can change. Now when it says um, button color, you can change that to a little bit more of a fall look if you like. It, the blue is on right now, I'm gonna change it to the brown, and you can see what that just did. Customize images. This allows you to load custom images from a uh, like a flash drive or a thumb drive, uh, so that whenever you start the car, you can see whatever picture you want to see. And it's actually um, uh, you can customize the um, image when it starts up and when you cut the car. Off. Animation on. Delete personal data. That I recommend doing that if you sell the car. Software update. Grace Note database, uh, that's a music identification software. And so that will like, if you're streaming something via the internet um, or through your phone, it will recognize album art. I just press the back arrow and that's the arrow that's right there, but it's on the little display here that where my hand is and I'll show you that later. Voice, this allows you to control the voice volume that is coming out voice recognition prompts they are on and train voice recognition I recommend spending a few minutes doing this because this is going to make uh, the, the voice command system uh, easier for you the car is going to understand you more efficiently we're not going to do that right now but it, it says 10 phrases and you repeat those back to the car Bluetooth nothing's registered would you like to register one we're not gonna do that right now. Audio, and remember, all of this is in setup. Radio settings, this is gonna allow you to control the number of radio presets, and FM info, that's gonna be station information. External video settings, if you use um, audio video, that's gonna be through the jack in the box under your elbow cover art and that's whenever you're streaming something uh, I'm gonna actually cut use grace note data on and that way grace note will be able to show album art if you're streaming something from Pandora through your phone oops uh, then we're gonna go to vehicle vehicle customization this is a really good one door lock settings climate lights and other I'm gonna start off with lights. You see where it says headlamps on sensitivity. The factory default is in the middle between the negative and the positive sign. I'm gonna press down to select that. And I always take that up one. Click it to the right by one. And what this does is it allows the sensor that's on the dash to cut your headlights on automatically sooner as the sun is going down. Whenever you have your headlight stalked the end of it, rotated to auto. I recommend doing that. Headlamp uh, auto off timer for 30 seconds. That's whenever you get out of the car, your headlights will stay on for 30 seconds and then they'll go off. Daytime running lights on, interior light. These are all timers. Climate settings, automatic AC mode. AC will cut on automatically as the car deems fit door lock settings the doors with this setting will automatically unlock whenever you shift it to park 
automatic, I mean, uh, automatically lock when you shift from park, sorry, automatically unlock when you shift to park. Keep in mind what that means. You're riding down the road, you come to a stop, you're, you park your car, you put your car in park, all the doors automatically unlock. Now that's up to you to decide whether or not you want that to happen. One situation when you may not want it to happen is if you pull into a store, let's say you go to a busy, or, or you go to a, a, a shopping center and it's at night and um, you're on the phone, you're on a Bluetooth call, you're not ready to get out of your car, but you're parked. You put your car in park, all your doors unlock. You're sitting inside of a, in a shopping center at night with your doors unlocked. Just something to consider. If I wanted to deactivate, I press down and I just choose which one I want. Remote to press unlock. That's the default for every, basically every um, uh, keyless system known. You know, when you press the unlock icon on your uh, key fob, all the doors unlock. So this is, this is just, spend some time here. It's pretty neat. Um, let's see, other vehicle settings. This is going to be driver's seat easy exit. When you cut the car off and you take your seat belt off, or unbuckle your seatbelt, the steering wheel and the seat will move away from each other. You can choose full or you can choose partial or you can deactivate it. I like full. Power back door opening adjust. The, the, the back door on the 2016 RX is really versatile. You saw earlier with the hands-free opening um, and then the, the power back door. You can customize the opening one of five ways. I don't know how number one would ever be useful, but hey, it's there. And you can see, you can just pick it, and then next time you open your power door, it's gonna open up to that four setting. I like five, I'm gonna redo it to five. And I'm hitting my back arrow right now. Camera guideline settings. The first one is if you're backing up, it's really useful if you're backing up to pull a, um, a trailer. That one is good for, for parking. Um, if you're really not great at backing up for parking, uh, that one's a little bit more complicated, but it's useful. And this one is the one that most people pick uh, whenever you're backing. That yellow grid will move with the direction of the steering wheel and you know to back to the red line. Uh, like if it's a curb, you put the red line on the curb. If it's a line on a parking lot that's going across, painted on the parking lot, you put the red line on the, the line that goes across and you'll have plenty of space between you and the car behind you. So that is setup. Display allows you to control the contrast. This is basically specific settings for, for the uh, display screen. So I can adjust the contrast there. I'm actually going to turn that up for the purpose of this video. And then brightness. Camera. I can control, um, use the display. And those colors are there to uh, kind of give me a basis of what colors are going to look like in the, whenever the camera is active. So if I want the bright and vibrant colors like that, I can adjust the contrast up. This arrow is here because I can push the multi-selector in my hand I can push it left and then I can control brightness. Now keep in mind this is for the camera in the back. Day mode, it will automatically um, change whenever it turns daylight or night. I'm actually going to go back to general and cut that down a little bit. All right, so that's display, info, and this is uh, fuel consumption. Uh, if it, you see where it says USB photo one, photo two, that's the startup screen, like if I wanna customize the startup image. Fuel consumption is very detailed fuel consumption information by time. There's not gonna be much here because this vehicle only has like four miles on it. Um, I'm sorry, 14. 
So there's my fuel information. You can see at the bottom is five minute segments up to 15 minutes. The right is 20, um, up to 40 miles per gallon in um, 10 mile per gallon segments. I'm gonna push it left and I can clear all that out. I'm gonna push it right. There's my pass record and not much there. This will be a bar graph all the way across uh, in, in and each of these sections here represents a trip, and then that represents my miles per gallon. Traffic incidents, this is a free service. It uses HD radio. You can see all the green areas. Traffic is flowing pretty freely right now in this area. I just rotated the dial right, and it shows me the bottom half of the screen. And this is actually pretty far away. Um, this area here is about an hour and a half away from me, an hour away from me. This is too. Um, this is actually right near Virginia. I'm in North Carolina. And this is this is about an hour away too. So it's, it's a pretty big area. And all those green areas are just showing me that on those major thoroughfares, traffic is flowing freely. Weather, this will give you weather. So the current weather where I am, I can go three day, and there it is. I can push it, uh, nudge the, the little selector to the right, and I can pick a specific day. So this Friday, it's going to be partly cloudy, high of 77, all that. And that's through um, HD radio and the weather channel, that's free of charge. And then I can go recently check locations, national cities, that's bigger cities, or other local cities, that's smaller cities. Tons of information, pretty neat. And again, that's free. That's under info. Phone is Bluetooth, there's nothing connected right now, that's gonna be very minimal. Whenever you have your phone connected, that will allow you to see your contacts and your uh, messages, if your phone has the capability to do it, and all kinds of information, your dial pad, all that climate. Uh, you can control the climate from the dash down by the uh, gear changer, uh, I mean uh, just by the radio, or you can go here and you can change the temperature. And I can, I'm can i nudging it right right now to change the passenger temperature, that's fan direction or mode, um, that is and so fan speed, I can do all those. Media. And that is um, basically everything that is not AM, FM, or XM. Auxiliary. And so if I had like a, a USB, uh, in, in the USB, uh, in the glove box, in the center right down here, um, I could uh, plug a flash drive or a thumb drive in the USB, and that would allow me to use media to listen to the uh, audio that I have on a thumb drive. Radio, I can push that down. And uh, these are all of your preset stations. I'm turning the dial to the right right now. And this allows me to uh, surf my preset stations. I'm gonna tune it to another radio station. And then once I get to the station I wanna find, it's, uh, it's selected 90.5. And so if I press down on this multi-selector button, whatever is highlighted is going to become a, a preset for that station after I hear the beep. I'm pushing it down, and I wait until I hear the beep, and it just memorizes that station. I can go there now. Uh, now, I can also go to, um, I can change the mode. I can go from AM, I'm pressing mode on the face of the steering wheel on the left side of the steering wheel right now. So now it changed the mode to satellite. I can go here, you see that says FM. I can press the button down, that's behind the gear shifter, multi-selector, press it down and hold it. And now I just memorized a satellite station just under an FM station. This allows me to mix together sat, uh, AM, FM, and XM all in one page, so I don't have to jump back and forth between modes now. I can all I can group them all together. I can do that up to six times. You see it says page one of six. So this is six presets 
on this first page. I'm rolling the multi-selector to the right, and now watch this, that's page two, up to 12, page three, so on and so forth. So it allows you to, to really add a huge variety of AM, FM, and XM all combined in pages. Really neat. Uh, also, I can go, I'm gonna go back to FM. Now remember, when I, when, uh, the, the mode of audio is gonna be right here. So FM, XM, AM, uh, CD, whatever is, whatever is going on with the radio is gonna be displayed right here. This is always gonna be your, your presets. So I just tuned it to FM, and I'm gonna go to a station that has HD radio capability. And all of this, by the way, is also coming up in the center of my, um, da in, of my display and my dash between the tachometer and the speedometer. Uh, so I've got, I've got a color display there. I just memorized that radio station, and you see the HD icon right there? So that broadcasts in uh, HD. You can see here it says HD1. That implies that there is more than one of these stations, 98. Point seven. This uh, allows me to, to go to that. I can press the multi-selector down here to the left, nudge it left, and you see multicast. I'm going to roll down to multicast. I'm going to press down, and that just took me, you see now it says HD2. I'm listening to the other 98.7 now. So there are two 98.7 stations, and using that multicast, selection allows me to go back and forth between one 98.7 HD 1 and 98.7 HD 2. I really recommend getting used to using HD radio. It's absolutely fantastic. It's a great, great feature. Scan, seek, tag allows me to tag a song. I'm riding down the road. I like a song that I hear on the radio and I want to um, I want to remember to get that song. Um, so I can press tag and it says storing tag information, please wait. And then it's going to store this tag information so that the next time I hook up my iPod to the vehicle, it will be sent to your iPod the next time. So I, I can hook up my iPod via the cable in the center console here under my elbow via USB and it will send the information for that song to the iPod to remind me to buy it if I want to. Traffic information will take the radio to any uh, station that's broadcasting pertinent traffic information. HD radio on, radio settings, we looked at that before. Sound settings, that's gonna be your treble, mid-range, bass, fade, and balance. So that is um, a little bit on radio. Station list, this allows me to create a station list. Um, uh, it says I can select another audio source to listen to while waiting. This has a lot to do with um, uh, uh, it, whenever I hit scan, if I'm in an area that I've never been before, I can hit the uh, create or, or the station list and it will kind of pick up stations that I've never picked up in the car before and they'll, they'll show up easier whenever I hit scan. Then we'll cancel that refresh. And text will show me what the song, the name of the artist, uh, the song title is and everything. Um, additional information, that's the station message. Back arrow, display setup info phone climate. So that is the menu. You can see menu here and I'm going to move the camera now. And what I just did, whenever I was referring to the multi-selector, <laughs> I just don't know what else to call this thing. Uh, th this is what I was using to change. See, watch this. I'm going to turn it left and you can see there on the screen it turns. So that's what I was talking about. Whenever I was uh, said that I was nudging it, <laughs> I'm going to push down. And that's how you actually make a selection. So um, you see here the little uh, blocks on the end there and then there. 
that means that there is a screen that I can go that way or there's a screen that can go this way and I can get there by pushing it. See that? So what I just did is I pushed it left and it went to the screen on the left. So that's the multi-selector tool. Back arrow is here. This is how you get out of any screen. You can see what that looks like. And you can see there, same icon is there. So that means if I press this, it's going to go back a screen. If I press it again, see it's there. If I press it again, it's going to go back another screen. There's nothing there. So now that the back arrow is not there, so now I can press it and nothing will happen. That only works if that back arrow is displayed on the screen here. Uh, the shortcut to audio, I can just press that and that takes it to that screen that you're already familiar with. You can see here in the middle, um, the, the, let me, okay. so you can see here in the middle what that looks like. That is um, going to match what's on here. And I can use this multi selector and go left and fuel economy. And then these are all kinds of settings. I'll go over every bit of this in another video. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope this helps you enjoy your ride. And if you have not seen a 2016 Lexus RX 350 yet, I hope this gives you a great deal of information so that you can familiarize yourself with the vehicle even before you go to the dealership. Or if you own one, I hope this helps you understand your new vehicle a little better. Congratulations. Have a great day, everybody.